So, David, our biggest goal with you will to be develop strength, athleticism, but also improve on your biomechanics. So right now in your landing, you can see this valgus collapse in your knee, how it caves in towards your midline. We want to get that away, get your posterior chain activating some more, really your entire core activating some more so you can control that. So it can allow you to develop more power from the ground up. But right now, a lot of it is being dissipated in various ways and putting stress on your knees the way we don't want it to. Um, we want to get you a little more in line with your landing, have that knee tracking over the second toe and not collapsing on the midline. Here, there's a little bit of a challenge of using your posterior chain, your hamstrings, your glutes, and your low back. We want you to utilize those more in your movements, and that's what we'll be focusing a lot in your programming. You can also see on that landing that that knee again collapsed in, so that coordination is going to be big to, to make sure biomechanically we're moving in the proper ways. And then you can see on that one, you're kind of using your back to jump up and your leg flared out to the left side, to your left side, in order to get the power to hop up because you're not actually using your lower body in order to jump. Again, here you're seeing that collapse, in, especially on that left ankle, that left knee, even the right knee coming in. We want to keep those feet shoulder width apart. Broad jump, nice distance, nice triple extension, nice form. Again, you're jumping more with your low back than you are with your lower body. And that's something we'll be working on a lot. You can see how low your back goes when you jump right here. Again, on this, you can again see how close your knees come together, your feet come together here, which is stress on the knees that we don't want. And you not quite utilizing the posterior chain, your hips and the landing, which is what we're going to want to work on again. Vertical jump, not that bad. Again, you... You can use a little more lower body. That's a lot. That's pretty low back, back dominant. And again, we want to make sure those knees aren't collapsing in. But that knee and ankle, we can see on that left side collapsing in. So as we work with you more and more in your biomechanics, we're going to want to see those joints aligning properly. Um, we're going to want to see you develop more strength so you don't have to jump with your back, but actually you jump with your lower body. And we saw from your energy system development test that you weren't able to last very long um, which means that fatigue sets in for you and you're not quite a good mover and you're not able to probably explode past. Actually, based on what you said, <laughs> when you get a little tired, you see guys that are still performing well, you want to be able to perform at that level. That's our goal right there is to not only build the strength, but allow that strength to endure throughout the course of the game. We'll see you in the facility on Saturday and we will talk then.